I'm making a concerted effort to address topics that um, I frequently gloss over, um, that uh, <laughs> maybe I find irritating to discuss, or um, top, uh, topics and questions that I don't usually answer. Um, and one of the most frequent, um, probably, I mean, uh, even more so than uh, even more so than questions or comments about my ever in flux hair. Um, most frequent question: um, book recommendations. So, I'm actually going to answer a couple of suggestions for reading material for them that are interested. A uh, few of my favorite books, um, and <laughs> may be surprised. Um, First, um, Asimov. I am a ravenous, ravenous Asimov fan. Um, and if you, uh, if you're, uh, if you're looking to take a stab at Isaac, um, I suggest um, first Foundation, um, and second, um, I Robot. Now, that recommendation comes with it a caveat that these books are, um, they are novels, but they're also philosophical essays. Um, Isaac is expounding on uh, differing aspects of his views in these books, as I feel good science fiction does. I, Robot is an indictment on the notion that Logic produces predictable results. That's what it is. Um, it's a series of vignettes um, about robot behavior that seems uh, unexpected or contrary to design, um, contrary to intent, but is nonetheless logically consistent. So, thoroughly recommended. Um, and it, uh, uh, you can, you can blaze through it in an afternoon. Um, and you don't have to read too far in between the lines in that one. The other Asimov book that I wholeheartedly recommend, I think everyone um, should read or would enjoy reading, and certainly anybody with an interest in philosophy of science would do well to read, Foundation. Um, foundation is as much an exploration of different um, different cultural relationships with science as it is about anything else. Um, the way that um, scientific discipline is regarded within the society um, at the center of the novel, but also the way that the society uh, at the center of the novel is also um, uh, is viewed by surrounding cultures, um, and the differing relationships uh, to scientific knowledge that are um, elaborated upon throughout the novel, um, are I think um, I think were uh, Asimov's illustrations of some of his concerns, um, concerns that his contemporaries expressed. Um, and concerns that thinkers have since expressed. So, uh, well worth a read. Definitely worth a read. Now comes the bit where... Um, <laughs> I'm going to recommend some C.S. Lewis. Um, some of his least frequently read books. Um, the Space Trilogy, yep science fiction again. Um, the Space Trilogy begins with Out of the Silent Planet, um, which is mostly story-driven. It's mostly about following a narrative. Um, but one of, the, one of the central themes is it's kind of an autopsy of uh, European colonialism. You know, the way that so-called civilized uh, civilizations perceive and interact with uh, so-called savage ones, and um, it's pretty—it's pretty vicious, you know. Uh, C.S. Lewis has some teeth. 
he had some teeth on him. And, uh, and in this series, he was not afraid to break them out. Um, yes, there is quite a bit of, um, uh, there is quite a bit of a, a Christian metaphysics in here. Um, but uh, if, if that bothers you, then, you know, it, it, tr still try to entertain it. You know, try to, um, try to consider it from the perspective that's, that's being given. Um, and even if you don't find anything of value there, I think you'll find something of value in some of his cultural commentaries. <clears throat> the, next, uh, the next book in that trilogy, um, Paralandra. Um, is not really narrative driven, you know, as uh, story wise, not a lot happens. A whole lot of people talk and not even a whole lot of people, uh, mostly three people <laughs> talk an awful lot back and forth in the course of this novel. Um, but it is, um, Lewis's exposition on the nature of desire, um, and skillful desire. Um, Lewis viewed desire as a good thing, as a necessary thing, um, and that many of the problems that we encounter with desire are not um, problems with desire per se, but more that we suck at it. That desire is a thing um, like any other area of human endeavor, any other area of human activity that lends itself to variable levels of skill. Um, so uh, it's uh, it's a fascinating book. Um, I have not encountered um, I have not encountered uh, a work that deals with the subject of desire as as reverently as Lewis does in Paralandra. Uh, the third book in the trilogy, which I can't recommend with quite the same enthusiasm, um, because I didn't. I, I got I got a couple I got a couple of cackles out of it. Um, that hideous strength. Um, it kind of falls apart towards the end of the novel. You know, I'll just put that warning out there. Um, but uh, that hideous strength um, is um, Lewis's rather scathing criticism of the academic uh, uh, the academic and intellectual climate of his era. Um, and you will run into some um, exaggerated versions of familiar figures in that book. Um, it is worth a read, um, but uh, you know, I've only read it a few times. On the other hand, I've read, I can't count how many times I've read the other four books that I've recommended in this video. Last recommendation is not a book, um, but uh, if you only follow one recommendation in this video, follow this one. <clears throat> um, Orson Welles' F for Fake. It is a not exactly documentary um, exploring the careers of um, some of the great art forgers of the 20th century and along the way because this is Orson Welles and this is Orson Welles at his best. Um, uh, he explores questions of what it means to be an artist, what it means to lie, um, what creation, artifice, um, deception, and manipulation actually mean in the world of art. Um, it's <laughs> that movie has. Um, I saw it when I was very young, and it influenced my thinking. Um, more than any, uh, more than any text that I can name off the top of my head. Um, so, uh, there you go. Um, four science fiction novels, thoroughly recommended. One with kind of a, eh, yeah, go ahead and, you know, go ahead, read it. Um, and a movie. And um, enjoy. Uh, I imagine that you will. I imagine that you will. <laughs>